Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Welcome to Wig Wednesday. And I want to give a shout out to White Wigs for sending me this gorgeous wig for free for my honest review. So let's get started. Okay, it came yesterday. I did take it out the package and looked at it good. I did brush it with my wig brush. It was much more curly than this. I think it's supposed to be worn in a center part, but I don't do center parts. I'm going to switch it to the left side. So this will be a left side part on me. Okay. It was delivered, it was hand delivered by the DHL people. The wig was in plastic bag. It was stuffed with this to keep its shape and it had a hair net on it. And uh, came with this box. White wigs box came with this bag to store the wig in. I'll show you. It looks like a like a backpack bag. Looks like this. Store whatever you want to store in that bag. Came with a wig grip. Tan, it's light colored like that. And what else? Came with wig cap. There's two wig caps in here, which I never wear. Came with hair care instructions. And it came with this beautiful satin bonnet. Satin protects your hair. You put this on your own hair. It'll keep, uh, like if you put on a cotton bonnet, that would zap all the oil. Natural oils out your hair. Well, satin protects your hair. So, nice. It's light on one side and it's black on the other side. So, it looks reversible. Okay. Okay, now, you see I haven't even cut the lace off the wig yet. Lace that actually matches my skin color. So I'm gonna take it off of this and show y'all the specifics of this wig. One, two, three. Okay. It has four combs inside. It has one at each ear. There's one, here's one. Here's one in the center. I've never used a center comb like that, right in the crown of your head. And here's one at the nape, along with two adjustable straps. And, okay, it has uh, kind of a stretchy wig cap. It has this much parting area. So, is that the center? No, it looks kind of off-center, so it's probably made for the left side part. So that's off-center. And it has this ear-to-ear -ear lace right all across the front, which I'm going to cut off, and I'm going to put some of my powder in this parting area. So the part will show up better. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera and cut this lace as close to the hairline as possible without cutting the hair. And I will be right back. Okay, I cut the lace off. Look at this lace, y'all. 
that's the same color as me. Now my scalp is usually a different color than my body. Look at this. It's a good color. And the lace is soft. I think it's Swiss lace. Okay. I did a little plucking of the part. I put some uh, powder on the underside of the part. I plucked the part a little bit. Well, I actually put some of the hairs out the part to make it wider. I'm careful. If y'all don't know what you're doing, don't do it because it's easy to put a hole in lace. You don't want to do that. I got a bag down here. I'm putting the hair in. So that widened that part some. Got a few more pieces to pluck. I'm being careful. I did notice that there's some short pieces on each side of the part. If y'all can see that or not. I don't know if that's to make the plucking easier or not. I mean, it does make it easier, but uh, you may have to use some hairspray so it'll stay down or some a wax stick. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to spray this wig so this hair don't fly up. I got a, wig, a fan over here. And put a little more powder in that part and I'm putting this on top. Same stuff I put on my face. No underneath. Okay. All right. I'm going to put it on and then style it. And I'm not gluing the wig on. See, I cut all those, those edges of the lace off because I don't glue my wigs on. I like my edges, so I ain't putting no glue on my edges. Okay, um, this wig is a 12 inch Brazilian, they say it's a deep wave, well this is the way it looks, it's 12 inches long, 150% density, and if you're interested in this wig then uh, check out my description box for a coupon code for 10% off. Okay, I'm going to put on my wig grip. I don't wear a wig cap at all. My hair tucked under. I just got my own hair braided back and I got the braid tucked under. I like a left side part, so I'm putting that to the left side. Get my ears out of here. Put it on. I haven't even tried this wig on yet. I hope it fits. Okay. And I'm not attaching anything except the very back comb. I don't think. I think that's what the wig grip is for. Help this wig not go anywhere. Oh. Well, I can attach this comb to the side. Oh no, it's pulling. I don't like this comfort. And this wig is salt and pepper, but it has like a brownish tinge to it. Like if your hair wasn't black to start with, like it was brown, and then you're getting in the silver hair. Didn't adjust the straps. It's big head friendly. It feels good. Okay, we're gonna style this wig. Oh, this is cute. 
cute. It was much more curly than this, but I brushed it with this wig brush. It has a lot of body. It's nice and soft. Okay, it's really fly away-ish. Maybe it's the fan right here to the side of me. I don't like hair in my face, so I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna have to spray it. bring out my edges. See, my hair is already salt and pepper. And there's more silver on the edges. So, whatever edges I bring out, it will match this wig. Put some gel on my edges. What is that? Oh, Lord. a little brush, the edge brush in here. You know, I'm putting gel on the wig. So it stop flying away. I'm putting some gel right on my edges again. And a little gel right here on each side of this part. Like I said, it has some short I guess it was filler hairs on each side of the part. Oh, this gave it a little sheen. No, I don't want it like that. Because it's blowing in my face. like the earrings to show and what I need. I need some powder right in my hairline. I'm put some powder to extend right here. Okay. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. Put some more powder in this part. All right, that's good. I'm gonna put some wig sheen in it. It's oil-free wig shine. It makes my hair to shine because my hair shines. on here without destroying the curl. Brush it. I like to push it, brush it and push it. You can curl this hair around your finger. Great body. Go that way. I want it to go this way. It don't want to go that way. So let me put it back. 
gonna spread it back. So it'll be shiny too. And like I said, this is oil free. Wig shine. I'm trying to put grease on the wigs. Okay. This is my review of Y wigs. The name of this particular wig is called Yonce. Like Beyonce is Yonce. It's salt and pepper with brown undertones. You see? And it's 12 inches long. It's uh, human hair. And it's 150% density with the wave, yeah. And I'm wearing it as a left side part because that's where I wear my parts. Let me turn around so you can see it. It's lightweight, yeah, very lightweight. Left side. Back. Turn around. Right side. Look at this. Look at those waves. I think I'm cute. Mm hmm. This is so cute. Very, very cute. Very cute, y'all. Okay, I like this wig a lot. A lot. Thank you, Y Wigs. Thank you very much. And I hope you like this wig review I've done for you. Okay, honeys, be sure to look in my description box for the coupon code that was formulated especially for my channel. Okay? And you'll save yourself some money if you're interested in this wig. And most of my honeys, they're about my age, so I know y'all got some salt and pepper hair anyway. So you might be interested in this. But I have worn all silver wigs. And they're gorgeous too. But this is really gorgeous. Okay. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel. And be sure to check out Y Wigs. Okay? They got some gorgeous hair. And I have bought wigs from them before. Okay. Y'all be blessed. Bye. Y wigs. The letter Y wigs. Okay, I'm going for real now. Bye.